Hi everyone, it's Father Mark Davis, pastor at St. Patrick's of Heather Downs here in South Toledo, wishing you all a very happy Lent. You know, a recent reading was from the 58th chapter of Isaiah, and it reminded me of an old movie called Crocodile Dundee. There was this woman reporter from New York City who went to Australia, and this guy named Mick, you know, showed her around, and he was a real woodsman, you know, um, and she took him to New York City. One night, they're coming out of a restaurant, she's on his arm, and a guy asks for a light, and then pulls a knife on them and is going to rob them. And then he says, give me your wallet. And he says, why? And she says to him, because he's got a knife, Mick. And he looks at her and him and he sees his switchblade and he says, that's not a knife. This is a knife. And he pulls out this huge knife and he cuts him his coat up and then they all run away. Now, it's Lent, right? And in this 58th chapter of Isaiah, the prophet is saying, that's not fasting. This is what fasting should be. Because all these people are fasting. This is Israel, right? In the time of Isaiah. And they're saying, oh, we're fasting. We're doing all of these really difficult things and God doesn't hear us. And he says, that's because you're just doing it for yourself. You're doing these fasting and good things, but you're not changing your hearts. You're still treating people horribly. You're still treating your employees like slaves. You're not doing anything or even recognizing that there's poor people. Your fasting and your Lenten practices aren't changing you. So our reflection today is what does it mean to say? That's not Lenten practices. That's what Lenten practices. Let's take a little time today to breathe and think, okay, what am I doing for Lent? What am I giving up? What am I doing for other people? How am I praying more? But is it changing me? What good is it if I'm hardly eating any food or any sweets or any alcohol and I'm grumpy and mean to the people I live with or really irascible to people that I work with. Let's make sure that we're to have a happy Lent. Everything that we're doing for Lent is supposed to change us, to bring us closer to God, to give us freer, and to be people more full of God's love for others. God bless you, and have a happy Lent.